Hello everybody, this is Christian from the Arctic Channel, and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn boring old doors like so into boring old doors with an arch on top. <laughs> and before I get into that, I'm actually going to show you how to do arched openings first because they're a little bit easier before we get into the more complicated doors. And there's two ways of going about that. If you're only doing like one arched uh, opening in your whole model, I recommend just doing it this way. Uh, go into the wall that where you want the arch and then you can just physically draft the exact arch you want and then you split the floor here real quick so it can adjust the opening for the floor as well and voila an opening as easy as that however if you have multiple arches or you're planning on including multiple arches uh, I would suggest creating a new door type and these are the four that I have by default if you don't see or we are going to need to add more so you can go to load family or additionally you can also go to insert and load family from there and you should see all of these other models that aren't loaded by the get-go but they're included in the revit or uh in the general revit folder when you install them um if you don't come here right off the bat this is uh the pathing desktop this pc os program data autodesk revit 2024 libraries imperial english and us but you can also use metric. I'm not. Um, you can use whatever you want. I'm not judging. Um, but we're actually going to go into the doors file, and we're going to find this one that's called door opening. Open that, and then we can just go back to doors under the architecture tab, and voila, it should be there. You can pick whatever size you want. I'm just going to do that one. Place it there, and as you can see, we have a door opening, but it's not exactly arched. Uh, we're basically just going to be using this as a template. And we're going to click edit family and i know this may be uncharted territory for you uh, editing a family but it's very simple we're just doing a few uh basic changes but what we're gonna have to do is go to elevations and uh, you can do backside and what you see here are two things you see the actual wall and then you see a void in the wall which is called opening cut we're going to want to click on that and then hit edit sketch and all we have to do is add our arch on top and make it one foot six and then we can delete this and literally as easy as that you can hit check mark you can hit load into project i'm actually going to save this first i'm going to save this family door opening i'm going to name it arch just so i have it for later and then i can hit load into project and i can place it and voila as easy as that and the great thing about this is it's included with all the parametric data so i can hit edit type and make sure to duplicate always want to duplicate i'm just going to name it arch because i'm not sure what dimensions i'm going to do yet but let's make it four feet by eight feet because we want that grand opening hit apply hit okay and you can see it open like that as well so that was pretty easy and if you want to edit it even more you can go back in hit edit family uh, one thing that i didn't do is i didn't really make it an accurate height as you can see um this is seven feet and that's uh, where it's grabbing the parametric data if i want it to be more accurate i can move this down uh gotta move it down this way so we can reference that plane and now it's actually going to be seven feet where it says seven feet uh, earlier i had it up there and who knows what the actual height was but if i hit load into project and close and i do want to save it overwrite the existing version it should update just like that so now theoretically if i just click that point go down uh i should have used the measure tool what am i doing dude i don't know how to measure but it's it's around eight feet <laughs> okay just trust me bro just trust me so now that we have the openings down it's time to find a door and we're going to do the exact same thing we're just going to find a door that we like and we're going to modify it and i'm actually going to go into here and try to find some other doors a commercial uh residential and this one already has an arch so or, or like a, an arch design included in the door so that may be a cool element to add and we can click whatever one we want you can click them all if you want <laughs> um, i'm just going to do that for uh the sake of keeping it simple and bada bing bada boom there's our door right there not too shabby not too shabby 
However, uh, it's just got the arch and the design and we're going to have to edit it once again to actually make it arched in the wall as well. And uh, right off the bat, you may see that it's a bit more complicated. <laughs> Uh, we're not going to be messing with any of these numbers, any of, of these reference lines. We're just going to be doing the exact same thing of editing the void. So trim, sweep, hit tab a few times. We want to see uh, the opening. Where is that opening? Opening cut. Edit sketch. And all we have to do is add our line up here. So you can either add the perfect like circular tangent one that it gives you. Um, we actually already have an arched at a certain angle. So what I'm going to do is actually pick this line and reference it. Uh, so real quick, from this pink line is 5 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to pick that and offset it by 5 and 3 fourths. So we get a perfect little angle. And where is this darn trim tool? I'm going to extend those, delete that. And lower it. Uh oh, I think I used the trim tool long, wrong. Ugh, I hate this trim tool. It's a very useful tool, but I've been gone from Revit for a while, <laughs> so it's a uh, it's faking me out sometimes. Uh, let's save this file, save as family, and once again, I'm just going to be renaming it so I can use it in the future without overwriting the current one I have. Load in the project. And right off the bat, you'll see that uh, the opening is created because the wall is jutting in. But uh, contrary to how um, we did the earlier arched opening, there are many other parts. Like we have the door panel, we have the mullion, we have the trim. We need to edit those as well. So let's jump into that. So first, let's start with panel at extrusion. Uh, same exact thing going on. Um, I'm going to be referencing the the same exact arch. And as you can see, this is one inch, one inch away from there. So I'm just going to edit this and have it go one inch in. I might not make, I'm not sure if I explained that very well, but basically I just want to continue the design that already exists and match it to the best of my ability. So that's what I'm trying to do. Just gotta cut these up, delete that one check 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 so that's the panel done that's the wall opening done let's edit this mullion sweep by cl clicking uh, edit sweep and then sketch path and this one seems to be exactly where that opening was so we can just click this exact one we don't even need to offset it and then once again i'm just getting rid of this excess geometry clicking that check mark clicking it once again and i believe there's one more thing that we have to edit Edit sweep, sketch path, and uh, yeah, it's getting a little monotonous, but it's pretty easy. You don't get overwhelmed by all of these extra things. All right, so that's one inch away. I think I already did one that's one inch away. So it might be either of these. I'm gonna go with this one. And once again, just trim the excess fat. If I can do it correctly. Bada bing, bada boom. Get rid of that one. Check mark, check mark. And we can do one final load into project. Overwrite what's already existing. And look at that. As easy as pie. I know I did that a little bit fast, but hopefully um, we can put it on like 0.75 speed or something <laughs> and it'll get the message across. Uh, one thing to note is uh, if we go back into that model there, we were in exterior mode. And uh, if we scroll around to the other side of the wall here, uh, it's not updated yet. Uh, you have to do that exact same process to the interior side as well. You can see the interior side is a little messed up. It's actually not that bad though. Most of the things we did edit affected both sides, like the opening and the panel. It seems like it's just that remaining molding on top that really needs updated. So for the purpose of this video, I think it's going to be fine. But make sure to do that final little cherry on top to finish off your door and you'll thank yourself later.